Good day everyone and welcome to this week's tech news. And today, it's all about graphics cards, so if you want to know the latest news on that, be sure to stay tuned. The announcement of the new GeForce RTX 2060 12GB graphics card is considered to be good news, and it is, considering that the card features 2176 CUDA cores, having it perform the same clock speeds as RTX 2060 Super. But before this, the official webpage stated that there will be a Founders Edition, which would be great news, as the Founders Edition means that it's Nvidia's own design, which also means that this version won't depend on AIB partners, and in turn, customers will have a chance to buy it at MSRP. Unfortunately, the listing for the Founders Edition was removed from the website, and to back that up, Tech Power Up has confirmed with their sources at Board Partners, stating that Nvidia has updated their website to remove the Founders Edition part from their specs page. We confirmed with Nvidia that there will be no RTX 2060 12GB Founders Edition, only custom designs by their various board partners. And a bit of an update, based on PC gamers, this GPU will be difficult to find on store shelves throughout early and mid-December, but its stock will ramp up starting the end of December through January. Now we have some rumours on the launch date of the upcoming GPUs. The first we'll cover is the RTX 3050. According to video cards, their sources say that the GPU is going to be announced on the 4th of January and launched on the 27th of January. There is not much confirmation on the amount of CUDA cores it has, but according to embargo documents, RTX 3050 will feature 8GB of GDDR6 memory. Launching on the same day will be RTX 3090 Ti, and document from Nvidia only lists the on-shelf dates, so there's no confirmation on when Nvidia will announce this card. RTX 3090 Ti will supposedly feature 24GB GDDR6X memory with 10,752 CUDA cores. Another upcoming GPU will be RTX 3070 Ti 16GB. This one will be announced sooner than the previous mentioned ones, which will be on December 17th, and will be launched on January 11th. It's said that this card will feature 6,144 CUDA cores, which is the same as the 8GB model. Good news for those looking for RTX 30 GPUs, SMSI has reported to lower their prices on those cards. According to a report from Bort's channel's forums, RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti will have its price reduced by 300 to 600 yuan, that's about 47 to 94 US dollars. And RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti will have its price reduced by 100 to 300 yuan, that's about 16 to 31 US dollars and RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti will be reduced by 100 to 200 yuan, which is about 15 to 31 US dollars. It's also mentioned that only some models are having their price cut down, while others will actually be more expensive compared to back in November. And the report doesn't really go into detail on which models specifically are affected by this price adjustment. Now we'll take a bit of a breather before we continue on with the other news, and if you're still here then maybe click on the subscribe button if you don't mind, it won't cost you anything and you'll be helping our little channel grow. And if you do, we thank you so much for your support. Just in case you missed the Game Awards, Intel took a spotlight in the event when they featured their new Arc GPU. The video that they've released showcased a gameplay demo featuring multiple titles as well as its release date, which will be on the quarter 1 of 2022. The video also featured the Arc GPU in both laptop and gaming desktop. Unfortunately, Intel hasn't disclosed any benchmark figures that are usually used to compare the GPU to the competitors, so in terms of performance, we'll just have to wait. Color, known for their manufacturing of graphics cards, has announced a collaboration with Ducky, known for the specialty in keyboards, to release a special edition mechanical gaming keyboard, the PowerColor X Ducky 1 2 SF RGB keyboard. This keyboard uses box brown or white mechanical switches, and since this is a compact keyboard, there won't be F keys and numpad, but there's still the function key, so there's no need to worry about that. PowerColor designed this keyboard specifically for gamers, and so they've bundled it with 10 additional red keycaps to visually separate them from the other keys. And, of course, what gaming keyboard will be complete without RGB lighting? It's even in the name. And in the case for this keyboard, you can customize it. Now, this keyboard should be available immediately from the company's free sellers for 109 US dollars. And the first buyers will also get PowerColor's signature red demo keycap 
valued at $49.99 US dollars. So, according to video cards, AMD will be refreshing the RDNA 2 architecture with a new series called RX 6000 S Mobile Graphics. Now, the RDNA 2 refresh was first brought up by Greymon55 a few months ago, saying that AMD could be going for 6 nanometer refreshes of its Navi 2X GPUs. Video cards also mentioned that if AMD is to launch RX 6000 S series, they would likely debut this alongside Ryzen 6000 Rembrandt series early next year. And since there hasn't been any official confirmation on this, take it with a grain of salt. And that'll be it for this video. If you've managed to get to this point of the video, give yourself a pat on the back and again consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel too if you still haven't done that yet. And hopefully, we'll see you again when we'll cover more tech news. So until then, take care.